大家好，我是 A 整一，今天看我这身打扮就知道我要介绍什么电影了吧？就是这个，在五月二十五号全美上映的《Man in Black》第三集，将近四年没有在大荧幕上出现的 Will Smith， 这次非常开心可以再一次参与《Man in Black》。虽然距离第二集已经有十年了，不过靠着前两部加起来超过十一亿的票房口碑，相信所有的粉丝都非常期待第三集。就让我们先来看一下《Man in Black》三。Have everyone's attention, please. Okay, you know your kid won the goldfish in that little baggie from the school fair, and you didn't want that nasty thing in your house, so you flush it down the toilet. Well, this what happens. I am getting too old for this. I can only imagine how you feel. I promise you the secrets of the universe, nothing more. So there's some secrets out there that the universe don't know about. K. K. There is no K. He's been dead for over forty years. What? Somehow history has been rewritten. There has to be a reason this is happening, and K seems to be at the center of it. You're gonna send me back to 1969. First, we gotta get high, my man. For real? No, I mean really high. All you gotta do is jump. You've got 24 hours. After that, there is no coming back. K? How do you know my name? I'm an agent of Men in Black, but I'm from the future. We're partners. Okay, future man, where to? First of all, I'm gonna need my gun. No, 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 space gun. Is there anybody here who's not an alien? Can we have a minute? Damn it, Kay. You trying to blow my cover? Whoa, Andy Warhol's one of us? Who's the dumbass? Whoa. You know, I don't have no problem pimp slapping the shiznit out of Andy Warhol. What? Yeah, these in the future. That's what I'm talking about. We're running out of time. We're running out of clues. And there's an invasion coming. So really, we need to go right now. All right. Hey man, hey, how old are you? 29. Oof. You got some city miles on you. Agent K 的 Josh Brolin 在红地毯接受访问时表示，为了饰演年轻版本的 Tommy Lee Jones， 他不但需要做非常多的功课，而且还看了很多他之前演的电影来揣摩他的神情跟动作。连跟 Tommy Lee Jones 合作多次的 Will Smith 都说 ，Josh Brolin 真的模仿得太像了。让我们赶快带大家去红地毯现场看一下吧。Last chance. Who are you and what do you know? I'm an agent of Men in Black, but I'm from the future. We're partners. 25 years from now, you're going to recruit me. And 14 years after that, the guy you didn't let me kill today at Coney Island, he escapes from prison and jumps back in the past and unleashes a full-scale invasion of Earth. We had about 19 hours to catch him and kill him. So really, we need to go right now. All right. You know, th this is like like such an exhilaration, you know. This is uh, as close as movies can get to the feeling of music on stage, right? It's like there, there's nothing like that three seconds when the audience recognizes your hit record that you're about to sing, and this is the movie version of that. Oh, man, it's fantastic, you know. I have, hadn't worked in a few years, so it was good to come back with a character that I know, and it's, you know, sort of like coming home and people that I've worked with before and you know the idea is fantastic Josh Brolin did a genius uh, genius job as the young agent K so I can't ask for any more basically the story is there's there's a severing of the relationship of K and J as we know them in the last two films and uh, he goes back in time to try and change history and the destiny of K so he can get his friend back I, I drove myself completely insane you know, I went down to Mexico, I got a hotel room, I was by myself, and I just started I started watching movies when he was young, you know, Rolling Thunder, 
executioner song, all that stuff to see him more agile and young and fun and smiling and all that. And then I just watched Men in Black about 50 times, maybe more. 在 MIB 里让大家印象最深刻的，除了闪一下就能发挥神奇功能的记忆消除器，另外就是这些造型千奇百怪的外星人哦。而这些 aliens 都是来自于著名的好莱坞特效化妆师 Rick Baker 之手。他的作品大家一定有看过，像是 Star Wars、Planet of the Apes， 还有 Hellboy 以及所有 MIB 的 alien design 哦。不过特别的是，他这一次还破天荒在 MIB 第三集里面扮成一个脑袋露在。在外面的大头外星人，一起去看看制作这些外星人的幕后拍摄花絮吧。Back, back in, in okay, you know your kid won the goldfish in that little baggie from the school fair, and you flush it down the toilet. Well, this what happens. Black Three is incredibly visual. The good things I get to work with Rick Baker designed all the alien creatures. You could take it out of context and know that's a Men in Black creature. When I was first approached about the original Men in Black, I mean nobody, we didn't know what Men in Black was. The first thing I said, it's going to be really hard to do aliens that don't look like things that we've seen a million times. I mean, we wanted to take the alien seriously, but the movie is also a comedy. You know what I like about the first Men in Black and the, and the second Men in Black is the aliens aren't necessarily in your face all the time. I love that those aliens will be, you know, 30 yards in the background of a shot. It'll be four times that you watch the movie before you even pick it up. My relationship with Rick Baker is kind of great. Every time I start a movie, I said, show me some aliens that don't have eyes and don't have mouths that are really sort of unique. And Rick, of course, as he's done in every movie, creates these great aliens, and I go, you know, Rick, that's great, but if the alien doesn't have eyes, how do I know where he's looking? We get some eyes. And if he doesn't or it doesn't have a mouth, how do I know it's speaking and not just thinking? All right. So what happens is I always frustrate him. In the movie, well, I just say uh, I'm an alien with a kind of an exposed brain in the scene where Emma Thompson is speaking. I think of Rick Baker as one of cinema's great, great artists. It's like walking into an art gallery. Early on at his shop, I would go over, first of all, just for the fun of going to a shop, because it's great. Hi, I'm Rick Baker, and we're here in my studio. Why don't we take a look around? We have this time travel element. The 2012 aliens are much more like contemporary aliens. You're going back to 1969, so you get these kind of bozo-looking aliens. Dad, I'm on Earth. I need bail. Retro aliens. And to be able to do my version of classic science fiction aliens was a lot of fun. There's a clever inventiveness to the creatures that Rick Baker creates. Oh, Jesus. I think the first day we put the makeup on, it took eight hours. Sometimes I have to get up really early, two or three a.m. as they're gluing things and spraying things onto my face. Now I love working with people like that. You can always like, ask them lots of questions, and there's always lots of stories. I try to make something that looks as good as it can possibly look. I mean, that's how I have fun. MIB 大家都很熟悉，不过 Extreme Tourism 就没有很多人听过了吧 ？Extreme Tourism 就是去一些比较危险的地方旅游，像是中东、非洲村落，或是前苏联的 Chernobyl， 就像是在五月二十五号上映的 Chernobyl Diaries 一样。这部恐怖的惊悚片里面虽然没有什么大明星，不过网络上倒是有百分之八十八的观众表示期待哦。所以节目的最后，我们也带给大家《Chernobyl Diaries》的电影预告，也在这里提醒各位继续锁定挖靠 L A. dot com， 以及每个星期四晚上六点四十五分的洛杉矶汉天电视。我们下周再见，拜拜。Here we go.
So I know I said we're going to Moscow. Yeah. You guys ever heard of Chernobyl? Yeah. That's where the nuclear disaster happened. Yes. Have you heard of extreme tourism? You're incredible. Who's coming with Paul to Chernobyl? Chernobyl. This place was abandoned overnight. They had no time to take anything. Factories, schools, stores, apartments, everything's still there. There is Pripyat. Home to the workers and families of Chernobyl. Reactor number four, where the disaster happened. Is it safe? I have Geiger counter to let us know if the radiation levels are high. Tell me if you see something moving in water. <laughs> Anybody else have a story like this? We should go now. It's going to get dark soon. The wires have been destroyed. Corona Tochka Pripyat. Devas Nosic. Yeah, you hear that? <gasps> it sounds like a baby. Are you sure we're out here alone? Oh my god. Go, on, go, go, go! Was that an animal? It was something else. Come on, come on. To find them, we go back here. I oh, know it's not. We barely can tell us if we have to go so back. No, we have to go. Back. My God, no, we have to go. Hello. They're following us. They're not following us. They're hunting us. Go! Prius V吗？请到Toyota.com/slash Prius Kingdom参加Prius V抽奖活动。